Hello my friends, welcome to the metal shop here in the basement, obviously. And what we're doing today is one of the first steps in, I gave you a sneak preview one of my last videos. Um, I'm building a Brad Gillis uh, Red Strat replica. Um, and part of that is going to necessitate that we're modifying a fender with a you know vintage style trim and a regular nut here to accept the Floyd Rose, just like Brad did. Um, just works out that, you know, <laughs> your fender body and a fender neck are more easily attainable um, and more uh, cost effective. You know, you could buy a custom made neck, you know, platform for a Floyd, a custom made body set up for a Floyd, or you can simply modify one. And uh, I'm gonna choose to do that route. I've done several of these um, many many Floyd Rose installations I'm not an expert but I'm actually getting pretty decent at it so what we're gonna do here what I like to do is if you can see that we see the channel for the nut right there and basically what we need to do is um, we're gonna cut this flush with the bottom of that nut of the channel we're gonna cut it just gonna cut that notch that out right there um, that little piece of wood. And what I like to do is I like to use the Dremel with a thin, a very thin cutting blade. And what you can do after you make that cut, um, it may not be quite deep enough, but better to take less away than too much. You don't want to end up shimming your Floyd Rose clamp. So what you want to do is you want to cut that and then what we'll do is we'll level it with a file and we can lower it with a file if we need to. Hopefully we won't need to. So stand by and we'll uh, get this going on. All right, so the clamp is really just got the neck snug down. There's really not any amount of pressure on there just so the neck won't move. You see I've just put a little bit of blue painter's tape here. This is a very nicely finished headstock. You generally don't have problems cutting with the Dremel um, with your paint chipping and so on but why take any chances here so let's just uh, get this thing going here Okay, so you get to watch that in real time. Uh, we cut that. Um, it's a little proud, uh, that's, which is okay. Like I said, you can, we can always take material away. It's uh, more difficult to add it back on. And you'll also notice that I did, <laughs> I scum the tape there a little bit. Let's see, did I, uh, yeah, put a little ding underneath it. All right, it's okay. You know, it's rock and roll. This is a Brad Gillis um, replica, so you know, it's, his is pretty beat up. I'd rather have it perfect to start with, but just that tiny little ding isn't so bad. Um, and there you can see that. We're gonna take this upstairs with some better light, and we're just gonna work that with a file and get a nice platform, okay? But I just wanna show you real quick here what we're, how we're already progressing. And you can see it doesn't lay flat, but we're right, we're right where we need to be. That's gonna, that's gonna turn out nice. That's, we made a nice cut. We'll flatten that with a file and yeah, we'll be on our way. So that's the first step in converting your Fender style guitar to a Floyd Rose. All right, cool. Let's go upstairs. All right, so we're back upstairs guitar workshop I didn't show you the filing because honestly it was the filing was shaking <laughs> the sky cam um, so what I did was I used my handy little gauge here to mark out a known um, depth for the Floyd clamp and it really it works out to be it's about three sixteenths of an inch or 
it's not quite five millimeters, but it's not four millimeters, so about four and a half millimeters is really your depth. Um, and you're gonna wanna constantly check, you know, run this thing along your fingerboard, looking for daylight, scan it, make sure that it's nice and flat. Um, this is a really nice file. You're gonna want a flat file like this, you know, with a with the right angle and a, an aggressive one so that you can dig in to the corner here because that's important that's your that's going to set your scale length right there you want to dig that corner right in there get it nice and flush and you can see all the dust here i've removed a significant amount of material here to get this nice platform and i am going to use the top mounted screws i know brad's was drilled through the back of the neck i've done that before you need super sharp brad point drill bits it's so it has to be so precise when you drill through the neck because you're drilling holes and that's fine but you're then you're drilling a slightly bigger hole as a countersink for the washer that that um that machine screw holds on to and it you know i don't even want to take a chance this is it's easier and it's better you don't, we don't need the, the neck, the screws through the neck. It weakens the joint, even on a fender style. Um, I did change up, I put another piece of tape down. I doubled up the tape here, and I'm sure I still got a couple little marks under there, but whatever. Um, we have a nice, and even now, if you're looking at that, I'm not sure if it, um, here, let's just, it still looks a little bit rounded off in that corner to me. So I'm gonna work a little more. I'm gonna put the file like this, just for just for a little bit of a fine tuning, but that is a nice platform right there. And then we're gonna get this in place and um, I'll tape it in place. This fits as a nice R3, so this is a nice wide neck. That'll be nice. Um, the clamp is gonna hang off a little bit because this neck wasn't built for Floyd Rose clamp, but that's fine. Just like Brad's, um, just like any modified guitar will look, but I'm very, very pleased with this. One thing to note, um, you may look at a guitar with a, a separate fingerboard from the neck and think that that's your line that you wanna cut to. Don't do that. <laughs> that's gonna be taken too much off by you know, a solid 16th of an inch. Don't ask me how I know that, but what you want to do is just like I did, cut it with the Dremel or whatever you're going to use, flush with the depth of the nut that it is, and then you're going to fine tune it with a file and the nut itself. All right, so there is step one of installing the Floyd. Next, we'll do the body. Are we going this way? No. Next, we'll do the body. Cool. All right, so got the nut taped in place. Use the best tools that you have, your hands, okay? Feel, feel to make sure that it's nice and even. Make sure you have the right size nut. If you're gonna use a smaller one, and sometimes you will use a smaller one for string spacing issues, then for this for these purposes, I recommend that you have a nut that fits precisely to mark your, to mark your holes. What I like to do is I have a, a brad point bit. It's bigger than the size of the hole I'm going to drill, but it fits inside this hole perfectly, so it acts like a center point, okay? So a nice brad point, fits in there perfectly. We're just gonna give it a little tappy tap, love tap there. And the other hole fits in there perfectly. I think this is an eighth, yeah, eighth inch brad point. Okay, give it just a little Give just a little bit of a little bit of love there. And now we can peel this off. And look at that. Now we have our, our marks. Very nice for drilling. And then we're gonna drill. We're gonna use a again a much smaller drill bit than we need. And we're gonna tape it off for our depth all right so give me just one second and i will might as well do that as well Stan. all right so we've dropped a screw in to our floyd rose clamp there we can see that 
and what I did is I held the drill bit right up to it to measure the depth and it did not go quite as deep. You obviously don't need to go for the point and everything. And this time I taped it off and it's okay if you have a little flag sticking out. You don't have to wrap it around super, super duper. This is gonna be a very precise operation. Precision is the key here. Um, drills pretty easily. Just go to that flag, nothing to it. This drill bit's a little smaller than we need. You don't, you, you could drill, you're drill through that neck so easily. See, I didn't, but the drill can easily get away from you. Okay. So there, and we're not gonna install this right now, but when we do, we're going to, uh, a little wax on the threads and we're going to take our time I may have to get a bigger drill bit this is just what I have upstairs here and we got a little bit of chip out that I don't really care for that will mess up your mess up the flatness <laughs> your setup there of your of your Floyd Rose clamp so just give it a little just give it a little little touch up here and that is going to be really nice really nice so anyway i wanted to wanted to show you that little operation there take your time that's all this is very 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 precise work um but you can do it all right now <laughs> now we're gonna go on to the body all right let's go oops let's try that again there we go all right so i lied we did have one more operation forgot about the string tree now you can wait till your strings are installed and get this perfect, okay? On a strat style, straight string pull, it's not really rocket science where this goes. Um, you can measure a known guitar with a Floyd Rose and get it just like that. Uh, you can do it by eye. Um, you know, it's, I like to take the string retainer like this. I tape the screws to it so that they'll stand up straight up and down, okay? I get the thing, and I brought another guitar over here with a known good uh, Floyd Rose installation, a factory installation, and just eyeballed it. And then I set it just where I wanted it here, and I tapped again with the tape holding the screws straight up and down. Got my drill here with the flag on it still. Um, same exact process here. Very careful, because you can, you'll drill right through the headstock. Don't want to do that. Just take your time. Nice, do this while I already have the tape in place. For chip out, so on and so forth. And that is going to be just right. Just like that. I'll catch all our strings just like we need them to just the right spot in between our clamp and enough distance from our tuner. Be just right, all right? Okay, promise. <laughs> now, now we're going on to the body, all right. Cool, follow, follow me. All right, so I've just temporarily fitted the neck to the body. I got a tiny little bit of chip out on my beautiful red body here, probably because the neck is painted. It would fit perfectly otherwise, so real quick, Sorry, I'm not gonna, f I, I'll flip this over and show you in a minute, but I'm gonna use the same, this neck isn't drilled for the screws, for the neck screws. So I'm gonna use the same trick I used before. I have a brad point drill bit that fits the hole perfectly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that through till it touches the neck. Center point, give it one of those. Okay. Look at that, that's, that's a nice fit. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We are going to I'll pull this off and we're gonna tape up a drill bit and we're gonna drill that just barely. And there is the beautiful um, 
Porsche Guards Red, the orange red body, just like, just like Brad's. Ooh, that is tight. That is just, it's that, it's the paint, the paint on this black neck, and I don't want to get big chips, okay? But there, you'll look, you can see, we got nice, nice marks there. I'm not going to show you this, but I'm going to tape off a drill bit um, for the proper length that we need. I'll measure out and see how much how much is sticking out here. Um, I don't know if I have any. Eh. Anyway, I'm going to stick a, you know, put it on a, a back plate, on a neck plate. I'm going to put it through. I'm going to measure it. I'm going to tape it off, and I'm going to just drill, just going to drill out right there. Easy peasy, because in order to do the Floyd Rose, we have to have the neck mounted to the body. So another another little tip and trick there to get this going on. But what that's that this is gonna be a really nice project, my friends. And I'm gonna paint um, the shielding paint all through the cavity. I've got you saw me build the pit guard, the little preview about a week ago, and that is off getting wired up with some very special wiring. So this is gonna be a nice, nice project. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get this neck drilled. All right, so we got our neck mounted. That went quite well. Um, drilled out the holes very gently, and I, I drilled the screws into the neck. I put tape over the black finish. I drilled the screws in. I actually used the drill to drill them in so I didn't get a lot of chip out. Even though it's hidden in the neck pocket, I didn't really want a lot of chip out. And uh, you know, we got her bolted on. Nicely, I'm not real thrilled about the chrome screws. I'll have to pick up some black ones. Details, details. Build this guitar as if I was building it for myself and I want everything to be just right. Anyway, so I keep this. I bought a set of router templates from Stu Mac years ago. You guys have seen this before. If you're faithful viewers of my channel, will see this, that I have the measurements here. Um, Fender, 25 and a half inch scale. It's 25 inches to the nut. And what that is, the 25 inches, is the center line of our posts. Okay, so what we do is we put a piece of tape down. This is set up for like a Wilkinson or some other style of trim there. Fender two point. I ain't gonna cut it. So we'll put a piece of tape here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm still gonna be super precise. And get out our tape measure. And we're gonna hook it right to the nut, right to that platform. And we're gonna measure 25 inches. And if you look at that, you can see, I'm not sure if you can make that out, 25 inches isn't gonna do it. <laughs> 25 inches is too close to this pickup routing. And that's okay, all right? There is, there's a little, there's a little bit of room built in there, okay? The Floyd Rose um, saddles, there's quite a bit of travel in them. So we're gonna, I use the word cheat, but we're gonna cheat it just a little bit here. Yeah, we're gonna go, let's feel, yeah, we're gonna go like this. Our center line is gonna be about, 25 and 3 eighths will do it nicely. And it will still intonate, it will. Um, so, let's see, here's the template from Stu Mac, and it will go roughly thusly. And we don't even need to really open this up. We might have to a little bit, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully not. So let's go. 25 and 3 eighths. We'll make a couple marks. All right, so we've got our 25 and 3 eighths marks. I'm just gonna draw a line between the two of them. And that is where we will mark our Floyd Rose off of. And we're gonna I'm doing this for the camera, but I'm gonna double, triple, quadruple check these measurements before we do any drilling. And I've done this before. I did a whole video on it here, but here is what we drill. Um, 
the entire hole. We drill out three sixteenths, and that's an inch and a half, inch and a half depth at three sixteenths. And then we're going to drill out the threads with a quarter, or sorry, entire hole three sixteenths of an inch in diameter, one and a half inch. Then we're going to countersink to a depth of three eighths with a quarter inch for that top part of the post that you see there. But again, I'm going to click off the camera here and we are going to triple quadruple check our measurements here first. Right, very quickly, because I have a little battery here. I did end up moving it up. So my measurement is more like 25 and a quarter. Um, I needed to do that. I put the Floyd Rose in place and just eyeballing the saddles to get the saddles at 25 and a half inches here. And thankfully four of them are already on the second screw back so I can move them up a screw. They're all gonna be probably on the, the forward screw of the Floyd Rose. Anyway, so I measured 25 and a quarter to my center line and here, there's a couple marks there. I'm not sure if you can see them just to, as to exactly where the neck is to get it centered properly. There's not, I mean, there's a good amount of room back and forth, but it needs to be where it needs to be. So you can, lots of things you can do. You can use string, dental floss, um, use a ruler. We can use this crude kind of yardstick here. But anyway, I think we are in good shape. I'm gonna do the same thing here. With a small hole, I'm gonna use a brad point bit, probably the uh, 3 16 will probably fit in there perfectly. I'm gonna tap the holes and I'm gonna drill them like we discussed about before, but not until after I double, triple, quadruple check my measurements. So let's, uh, let's get some drilling going on. Some measuring going on, then some drilling. All right, so non-fine tuning Floyd Rose stuck in there just to give you a little sneak preview. Pretty nice unit there. I am going to source some stainless steel nuts to give it the look, you know, the metric nuts there that give it the look of the of the original the original originals. Um, this is a real made in Germany Floyd Rose non-fine tuner, just like on Brad's guitar. Um, one tip that I will tell you, I'm sorry I take you along with me for the drilling. It really wasn't very exciting. I did have to decrease the depth of the entire holes uh, to about an inch and a quarter. And the dirty little secret is Fender is some of their bodies that are made offshore and even in Mexico, they're a little bit thin. They're thinner than the American um, standard strats. Um, so yeah, be wary of that and just double, triple check. Here are our original style wood screws and those will those will drop right in. Again, so I drilled three, um, three sixteenths to a depth of about an inch and a quarter. And then for this part here that we see, this shoulder, we drilled quarter inch to a depth of three eighths. And then one, okay, one tip. I'll tell you, I got the drill bit, the Brad Point drill bit taped off here. Be very careful. This thing wants to, it wants, it wants to pull right down into that hole. So light touch, and you're gonna wanna be pulling backwards on it as it drills so that you're in charge of it. It's not in charge of you because if you, Give it hell, whoop, you're gonna have a quarter inch hole all the way down and that's not gonna work and you're gonna be doweling it off and everything else. So that'll do it for today. Um, we might have to, after I've just fit this in, and typical with the Floyd here, the way they mount the bar, this thing is kind of big and in the way and I think I'm gonna have to get um, you know a round file and just ease that edge just a little bit, not much at all. And I did figure out one other thing too that really aided me in, in placing this just right is if you put a straight edge on the side of the neck, um, it will line up with the outside saddle of your Floyd. And that's going all the way down the neck, right up against it and it's right there. A little tougher to do on this side because you've got the, the bar assembly in the way. But yeah, that, that thing is dead, dead on accurate. So this has been 
the continuation of building the Brad Gillis Stratocaster. This thing's going to be super nice. I'm very excited. This is, I'm, I was in a groove tonight, feeling the precision, not making mistakes, getting things right. And when you go like that, just keep on working. So as always, my friends, I thank you for watching. Truly appreciate your support. Um, give the video a thumbs up, please. Sorry for sky cam moving there. I was trying to get you a better shot. Please give the video a thumbs up. Helps the algorithm. Um, hit me up in the comments. Still reply to all my comments. If you're new to the channel, you enjoy the content, please, please subscribe and share if anybody is still sharing the videos. So like, share, subscribe. Please hit me up in the comments. All right, Brad Gillis Stratocaster and the installation of Floyd Rose onto a Fender style guitar. All right, my friends, take care. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Quick post scripts. Get yourself a sharp drill bit, not a brad point, and ease these holes a little bit, that sharp drill bit, move the paint around them. Otherwise, you're gonna get chip out, especially on a new paint job. Got my threads here covered with wax. Um, I had to cut these slots with a hacksaw. They weren't deep enough, um, and the screwdriver, the regular screwdriver was just slipping out of them. So just an FYI, I always like to cover the area with a rag as well. When I'm screwing these things in, you'd hate to slip off and dig into your finish. All right. So there's your, there's your PS tips. All right, my friends, take care.